Corn School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Distinct Herbicide and Pride Seeds. Hey, Kara Ustros here with realagriculture.com. We are back here today with another Corn School episode, and I have here with me Sarah Medlinger, who is the market development agronomist with Pride Seeds. How's it going today? It's good, thanks. How are you? Great. So we're standing in a southern Alberta field here and we are in some tasseling time here. So can you tell me a bit about what we're seeing in this field? For sure. So we've entered the reproductive, you know, the grain fill stage of corn development. So this corn crop has already, you know, tasseled and shed its pollen, but we can just briefly go through that right now. So this top part is the tassel and that is the male part of the plant. And then we have the ear here and it is going to develop silks and this is the female part of the plant. So what happens for corn pollination is that the tassel will emerge and it will start to shed pollen. And then that's when the ears are going to shoot up some silks. Every kernel will develop a silk and then the silk will be, will be fertilized by the corn pollen. So it'll land on the silk, it will, it will germinate, the pollen will germinate and it will develop a pollen tube that will go all the way down to the silk. And then once that pollen will carry the male genetic material, so then it will fertilize the ovule and you'll have a completely fertilized kernel. It will be immature and then it will use the next three to five weeks to develop and become mature. So that's kind of what's going on here. It's our, these, this field has already finished that pollination process. Um, but yeah. How long does that process actually typically take? So it usually ranges from about seven to 10 days, maybe a little bit longer, but you usually have peak pollen, peak pollen shed by the tassel in that three to four day window. Okay, and what can, so if producers are at this stage, what can they kind of be looking forward to in the next couple weeks? For sure. So I would definitely like start pulling off your ears and looking at what staging it there is. So there's six different reproductive stages. So the first stage is the silking stage. So that's basically when your pollination is happening. That's when the pollen is germinating on the silks and that genetic material is being transferred down the pollen tube to create a fertilized kernel. Then you're going to have the blister stage and that's when your corn it's starting to develop, it's starting to accumulate dry matter and it's getting nice and milky. The next stage is gonna be the milk stage. So you're still accumulating dry matter, your kernel's getting a bit plumper, you're starting to see those rows actually fill in and it's gonna to start to develop a yellow tinge. After, so that's about where we are in these fields. We're at the blister stage, we're at the, the uh, early milk stage. After the milk stage, we're gonna go into the fourth stage, which is the dough stage. So once again, still accumulating dry matter and starch, and your kernels are gonna start getting a little bit harder, and they're really gonna fill in. They've fully developed that yellow color. After the dough stage, we're gonna go into the dense stage, and that's when you're gonna start seeing dents develop in the cap of the kernel. And that just means, you know, the starch is starting to turn from liquid to from like a milky uh, substance into more of a solid substance. And that's when you'll start to see the milk line develop. So that's a really key indicator for when you're chopping silage. Um, so after the dent stage, you're gonna have physiological maturity. And that's when the kernel is gonna be fully developed. All of the milky starch, like liquidy starch has turned into a solid starch and you're going to see a black uh, line at the base of the kernel and that's when you're going to know it's physiologically mature and can be harvested for grain. So as far as insects, what sort of things are you seeing this year out in the fields? Yeah, so I haven't seen too much for insect damage or feeding, but when I was in this field, I did happen to come across a small European corn borer. They can be a problem um, in some instances, especially when there's corn on corn in the rotation. Not super common, but it is good to keep an eye out for them and be scouting for them. If you do find that it's a problem consistently and you're finding high populations in your field, that might be a good chance to switch to a Pride Seeds G2 hybrid. So G2 hybrids, they have above ground insect control, two modes of action to control, European corn borer, some other cut worms, uh, just for a little bit more protection than just a regular Roundup Ready hybrid. 